Paddy Barra a couple of days out from massive Dublin Derby on Friday. How's the body? Yeah. Paddy Barra a couple of days out from a massive Dublin Derby. How's the body? Yeah, uh, good. Good um, couple of days training, so uh, it's a massive game. We're looking forward to it. Just looking back on Friday briefly, um, not an ideal result probably, but the circumstances, the way the game ended, probably not the worst point in the world. No, uh, look, as we say, um, if you're not going to win the game, then don't lose it. Um, but yeah, look, it's, I think it was disappointing, obviously, not to get three points, uh, especially after Mark's goal right before half time. I thought we were in the sense then to go out, come out the second half then with the win, the hill in our favour, um, and go kind of uh, take the game with a scruff of the neck and go win it. But look, it wasn't to be. Um, again, as I said, if you're not going to win the game, then definitely don't lose it. And thankfully, uh, by the score late on to get us the point. The manager was full of praise after the game on Friday for Mark Coyle, his role as the captain. How big of an impact does he have coming into the game? Obviously, he had missed the game before that. Yeah, yeah, uh, Mark, he's been incredible. Um, you know, he's obviously uh, obviously the captain here. He's been unbelievable since he uh, since the start of this season. You can see by the performances every week. Um, and I'm chuffed for him. You know, he's a good friend of mine and I live with him. He's a good babysitter of me kid. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, he's incredible. Um, and look, as you said, you see by that goal the other night, um, that's what leaders do and you know I'm delighted for them. Looking ahead to Friday, is it important for these big occasions to keep a lid on the game a little bit maybe, not get too carried away? The supporters will be more than carried away during the week, is it just business as usual for the group? Yeah, look, it's another game, um, obviously it's got a bit of an edge to it because it's Dublin Derby and as you say the fans, um, the fans look, they'll be up for us, so will we, but um, Look, we just need to obviously go uh, go about our business the way we have been doing, um, and be calm going into the game, and you know uh, play our own game. Don't get uh, hyped up with with emotions, and don't get too emotional about the game. But we just need to go out and look. We need to put in a better performance than we did on Friday night, and hopefully we can do that, and hopefully we can get the three points. Obviously, all the games, three points at stake in every game. Is it difficult to go from uh, the likes of a draw to away? Some people would view that as maybe a, a smaller game to go into a massive Dublin derby. Is there a big mental turnaround in that from week to week? There shouldn't be. Um, your, your mental state should be uh, the same towards any game, home or away. It doesn't matter the team. You know, every game in this league is tough. Um, you never get you never get three points handed to you. You never get any, anything handed to you. So you have to obviously go out and work and approach every game the same as you would. Uh, home or away, Dublin Derby or not. Um, so, look, last week obviously is a is a point gained. It could be a massive point come the end of the season, but we obviously have to roll into Friday and uh, hopefully to build on that and get three points. In terms of this Friday's game here against Bohemians, it's live. It's on RTE. Is it difficult to prepare for this game in particular because they've changed manager so recently? Like you would have obviously had an idea of how they played earlier in the season under a different manager. Does it change much now with a new manager being there, or is the work the same? The work is the exact same. I think uh, obviously look the, the new manager in and um, they'd be probably up for a little bit more and kind of wanting to prove prove their prove trying to get into the team with their new manager. But look for us, it's kind of work as usual. You know, um, the same is kind of up to us. We, we need to approach the game, we need to take the game to the, uh, to them, you know what I mean? We need to, obviously, we need to work on our own game and work on um, their uh, weaknesses and kind of exploit them and go and win the game and that's kind of our plan, really. All the players that we've interviewed this year so far have said the same thing. It's one game at a time, you don't get ahead of yourself. At what point, when you're clear at the top of the table, does that little talk come into your head that you've made can push for this? You've done it before, you've, you've won plenty of trouble. Yeah, to be honest, the only thing you think about is when it happens. Uh, there's no point really thinking about it, especially this early. You know, I think we're first round in, it's been a good round, you know what I mean? But look, that's in the back burner now. We need to approach it. I think we have 10 games now in the next six or seven weeks. So that'll be massive. Um, we just need to go and I think we have three Friday Monday games as well. So it's a massive uh, squad effort. And look, there's a lot of points at stake there for every team. So we just need to go and uh, get as many points as we can and see where that takes us. You mentioned they're trying to keep your mindset the same, it shouldn't go up and down depending on opposition, but on Friday night at about 25 to 8 when you're standing in that tunnel and you probably see the colour and the noise, what's going through Paddy Barrett's head at that moment? Uh, look, obviously it's exciting, you know, it's uh, obviously our emotions will 
will kind of higher up because obviously you're hearing the fans and they're going mental out here and that's the way we want them to be but look us as players we need to thrive off that you know what I mean we need to love that look forward to it and that's what exactly what we're doing and look I'm really looking forward to the game and you know as I said it's, it's so loud which is incredible fair play to the fans but look it's we have a job to do Friday and as I said 25 to 8 or whatever it may be standing in that tunnel we'll be ready and hopefully we can go get the three points thanks Paddy good luck on Friday thank you